everybody, welcome back to my channel, The Medieval Reader. So today I am doing a review of Origin by Dan Brown. When I heard that this book was coming out about a month ago, I was so excited because when I was about 14 or 15, I read The Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons and I loved both. And since I have read most of Dan Brown's other works, I think the only two I haven't read are Digital Fortress and The Lost Symbol. This is not to say, however, that I've loved all of the books. I did not like Inferno. The first half I thought was pretty interesting. The setup was interesting, but the execution was terrible. This is not what happened, though, in Origin. Thankfully, I love this book. <laughs> I say thankfully because I got maybe a 20% discount on this hardcover, but I spent like $25 on it. So that's how excited I was that this book came out. Now, like all of Dan Brown's other books, um, particularly in the Robert Langdon series, um, Origin deals with the conflict between religion and science. There is an atheist named Edmund Kirsch. He's, he's kind of like Richard Dawkins. He's a new atheist. He's very militantly opposed to religion. But he's also this billionaire computer scientist and a futurist, someone who um, has created a lot of really interesting te technology that is light years ahead of its time. I mean, just really cutting edge technology. So Robert Langdon has been invited to the Guggenheim in Bilbao, Spain, to attend a presentation that where Edmund Kirsch is going to reveal a discovery that will shatter all world religions. And Langdon is wondering what this discovery could be. Um, but Kirsch has, told him that it will address two questions, where we have come from and where we are going. And so now Langdon is really intrigued and he's further intrigued by an artificial intelligence named Winston. It's the supercomputer that is able to speak almost like a human and can answer any question and just really can pass off as a human being. Um, Langdon awaits the presentation. Unfortunately, on the day of the presentation, right when Edmund Kirsch comes out to introduce himself, he is tragically assassinated by someone. And we learn later that the person who has attacked him belongs to this Palmyrian church, which is this fundamentalist um, breakaway Catholic church in Spain. And Robert Langdon, along with Ambra Vidal, who is engaged to the Prince of Spain, Julian, um, they go out trying to discover who it is um, and why Edmund Kirsch was murdered. But most importantly, they want to find the code to get into Edmund Kirsch's supercomputer so that the presentation can be made live. So for most of this book, Robert Langdon and Amber Vidal are looking for this code. This code is 45 letters um, from a line of poetry. And there are other things about Edmund Kirsch that are a bit weird. Even though he is a new atheist, even though he's very militantly opposed to religion, he often uses religious imagery in his buildings, in his um, home, and it just doesn't make any sense. The Bishop Valdespino, who is an advisor, to the king of Spain and his son Julian is being implicated in the attack. But this book does more than just reveal what the secret is. This book is also about the complexities of the religion science debate. And I guess that's what I like the most about Origin is that Dan Brown finally takes a more nuanced look to religion and science than he has in the past. I felt like at first I thought that the big reveal wouldn't happen because I was like, what, you know, what does Edmund Kirsch have in his presentation? You know, what is he going to reveal that will shatter all over the world religions? But he actually did. So this is a really ambitious work in that he really tries to answer questions through Edmund Kirsch that people haven't really been able to answer. So, you know, what kind of discovery would shatter all world religions and render them obsolete? Um, I thought that the reveal was pretty interesting. Um, it made me think about a lot of different things as someone who studied science. 
um, and as someone who is obviously interested in religion and religious history, um, the there were three clergymen. One was a rabbi, one was an imam, and one was a priest, the Bishop Valdespino. They had seen the presentation before Kirsch held the event, and two of them, the imam and the rabbi, are murdered. Then Bishop Valdespino is implicated in the attack. So I give this book four out of five stars. Um, I know that Dan Brown is faulted for his terrible writing. And yes, the writing isn't good. Um, I was... <laughs> the inner thoughts of the characters are always so bizarre because um, they think in full sentences. They... It's, it's almost like one of those advertisements where, um, you know, two people are talking and the one wants to advertise a product and so tells you everything about the product and then talks about how much he loves it. Um, it's, it's like that, where the characters are constantly just thinking things through to the utmost degree. Robert Langdon is constantly just thinking about history and <laughs> even when his life is being threatened, which is always bizarre. Um, so yeah, the writing isn't spectacular, but if you're a Dan Brown fan, I highly recommend Origin. I think that it is Dan Brown's best book so far, and we all need a light read from time to time. So um, I definitely recommend Origin. And if you're interested, and if enough of you have read this book, I can do a spoilery discussion video, and we can you know, talk about this book further in the comments, because I think some of the questions that this book deals with are incredibly interesting and thought-provoking. So that's my review of Origin. Um, let me know if you've read it and your thoughts, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.